right now we have seen already soda lime decarboxylation in the previous reaction now we are going to see electrolytic decarboxylation that means you are removing out carbon dioxide d means removing carboxylation that is removal of that carbon dioxide in the form of a vapor or the gaseous state that so in corpse uh, or what is the name given to this electrolytic decarboxylation this is called corpse electrolytic method or corpse electrolysis okay whenever i say electrolysis that means you have an electrolytic cell in that you have an anode and cathode kept after the electrodes kept you have an ele electrolytic solution also in that fine so in that electrolysis process or in corpse electrolysis basically i said we are going to prepare alkanes from acids and what do we learn in soda lime decarboxylation there we have they picked up carboxylate isn't it sodium what do you say uh, acetate sodium acetate we have taken here in the same case i'm going to take potassium acetate then what is that suppose if i take a general reaction just see i'm taking a general reaction we will understand carefully what am i going to take i said acids the precursor means we are getting it from the acid acetic acid which we have written that means here i am going to take r c o o potassium that is see instead of na i am going to take potassium but here what am i going to do i am going to take two two moles of that now here electrolysis process means in the presence of water without water there is no movement of ions isn't it so i am going to add h o h during electrolysis process when the current flows what happens just see the cleavage how does it cleave first of all there is a cleavage exactly here after that just see there is a cleavage here there is a cleavage here just yes. so let us write the products one after the other r two r r and r after that carbon dioxide how many two carbon dioxides two CO2 to O2. This potassium combines with H. How many are there? Two. So two KOH. After that, what else is left? Hydrogen, isn't it? This hydrogen gas or this comes out as H2. Fine. This is your reaction. Now, what actually is happening inside the electrolytic cell? We will see. In the electrolytic cell, we have two electrodes. One is anodic electrode, where oxidation happens always. and cathodic electrode where reduction happens now suppose instead of alkyl group here i'm going to take this as ch3co ok this one i'm representing like this done now when it breaks up how does it break it breaks up into ch3co minus plus k plus done now i'm going to take this at the anodic part now see here here i'm going to take only take one mole here i have taken two one also you can take then show with two electrons so take the ch3co minus here one electron done oxidation loss of electrons so when this is there it's going to form ch3co minus free radical free radical done now what happens the ch3co minus free radical further dissociates there's a cleavage of the bond here and this becomes methyl free radical and carbon dioxide is out so carbon dioxide is evolved at the anodic compartment remember that after that now next stage what is the next stage electrolysis process these electron from here to means if i take two moles here this will become two electrons so those two electrons are picked up by water molecule so i am going to take h2o taken two electrons means because i have taken one done but i am explaining you for two electrons so when i take this what will happen water molecule this is like this hoh there is a cleavage so i have to take two electrons means two water molecules so this becomes 2 oh minus plus hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas that is evolved at the cathode carbon dioxide gas is evolved at the anode now what happens to this free radical this free radical combines with one more methyl free radical and forms an alkane ch3 ch3 see here this alkane is formed here now let us cross check acetate is this one which is already broken at the anodic compartment carbon dioxide i have got as a product product here at the cathodic compartment this free radical combines with one more forming alkane 
and these one electron if I take one if I take two here this will be two electrons these two electrons loss from the anodic compartment goes to the cathodic compartment it is picked up by water so two hydrogen comes out as hydrogen gas hydrogen gas this 2 OH comes out as 2 OH and where, where is this OH comes goes this potassium whatever is there K plus plus OH minus becomes means 2 OH right so this becomes KOH that is 2 KOH so this is your Kolb's electrolytic method of Kolb's decarboxylation reaction